hi and welcome back to farming life at the forge as you can see the weather has made quite a big change because it is raining so compared to just a week ago everything was burnt everything was dried up and now we are actually seeing signs of green which is good it's just annoying to work in but we need the rain the ground needs the rain the grass needs a lot of rain so we don't have to feed as much hay but we still have to feed a bit because it is just growing so right now we're about to feed the goats the hay then go up into the woods where we feed the cows and then i have to get the dog houses ready for the winter because it's just getting quite cold and damp so we put some straw in there to bed them so that they have a nice warm for when they're in and that when they come out of the rain it helps them dry off their stuff a bit quicker than being all damp in the cold um, we don't want them getting sick so that is the plan for today So now that's all of our lovely ladies fed. So as you were supposed to go up to the woods, it has just started raining a lot heavier. Don't know if you can hear the rain hitting the roof. So plans have changed. <laughs> so plans have changed. We are going to be cleaning out the dog houses first and then all of it will have cleared off by then so we can walk up to the woods and clean the cows. So to clean out the dog shed I've just scraped it all out and now we're going to use two buckets of hot water and just fluid to wash it out and disinfect it. It's dry in here for Lexi as well. And then when they go into the evening, her pack in there so when these lovely dogs go in the evening they have a nice dry warm bed and hopefully the ground will also dry out from washing it so now the dog shed is finished the rain has calmed down a little bit still drizzly Whoop. so we are going to feed the cows up in the woods Oh, was that a beast? Not called a healer for no reason. So yeah, time to go in. The dogs in for their afternoon nap. Let them dry off a bit. Um, we can get food. And then I will go in for a nice hot cup of tea and sit with Jesse. Because what else would you be doing on a Sunday? Um, so we will be weighing the calves off them. So how we do it is how we do it is we lock the cows' heads in with these locking barriers, and then all the calves we will separate them into a pen that is right beside the mothers, so they can still see each other, they still know that their calves are happy and healthy, um, and there won't be as much stress on nor the cow or the wanings. So the next few days are going to be quite noisy because there's usually a lot of giving out. And for our safety then the locking barriers are a great job because well cows with calves are very dangerous and we can go into the pen without um, risking too much risk. Still have to stay wary in case one does break loose but all in all no real problems. Here you get to see a bit better all the cows is up there at the top where they are locked in and then the wailings here and then they will be moved into the pen right beside them here we have her in the crush now we'll have to wash it down 
with this infection. Uh, they had one like it before. Wash it off well. right so she can stay in your in this and after 10 days we'll take out the pins she might have settled back into We're giving her a shot of pen. It's a, an antibiotic or penicillin. It acts for three days. And she's not sick or anything like that, but just in case she gets an infection. Now we'll give it to her on both sides because uh, 50 is too much on one side. Hopefully she'll be okay. So we are out in our field here, which we like to call Burr. It's right beside the house. Um, so it's here on our main farm. Dad is over in one corner. I don't know if you can see him. Hedge cutting. So we've gotten to that time of year where um, we're allowed to cut all the hedges again. It'll take Dad about six weeks to get all the hedges cut. So our Normad eight meter long hedge cutter will be staying on the TM165 um, for about two months until it gets all done. We have got other tractors for working, so that's fine. It's the best tractor for it, plus it's already set up with lights on the side of it, so Dad can also do it early morning or late evening in the dark. And it's a job that he can do when he is, um, when it's raining. Mam is just coming up behind me here. She is on the Ford Ford 5000 and she is grass harrowing. She is getting all the cow shit like that that are in lumps and it's kind of just it's just harrowing it all out so it's just flattening it all out um, along the ground so instead of shaking manure we can do this so it helps for grass growth as well. It airs up the ground a bit which is what we need after a drought and um, yeah it helps for grass growth and spreads out the shit a lot more evenly gets rid of all the lumps so it's very good for the grass here's mam coming up now 